Welcome to Milton Ernest Garden Centre. My name is David and in this series of YouTube videos I will be showing how to make gardening easy for you. Good morning and welcome to Milton Ernest Garden Centre. My name is David Parrish and today I'll be showing you about how to care, plant and prune your raspberries. Raspberries are available at your garden centre now as bare root plants. As you can see they come in lots of different varieties and approximately six to eight canes. Our ones here are $8.99 and are superb value. The most important thing is to get your soil preparation site prepped. First of all, choose a nice open sunny position and dig over incorporating lots of organic matter. If you look behind me, we can use the Westland Farmyard Manure and Westland Soil Conditioner. This is critical and at the same time, if you also use the Westland all-purpose blood fish and bone as a general fertiliser, approximately three to four ounces per square yard. Once we have the soil preparation done, most important thing then is staking. Raspberries get up to sort of six foot tall, so you do need to have a support system. Here, you need to use a about approximately about an eight foot post, but of course we need to go into the ground about two feet. Then what we need to do, using Gardman heavy duty wire, we need to do three lines of wire, starting approximately 30 inches at the bottom, the next layer about four foot up, and then the final layer about six foot up, six foot high, using the lovely Gardman wire strainers that keep this really, really tight. Now we come to the most important thing, planting. With raspberries, they are very shallow rooting, so mustn't plant too deep. When you get your plants, carefully remove the soil. These are bare roots, and as you can see, these are tied up. But using a really good pair of secateurs, I myself use Falco secateurs. Just step these off, and carefully tease the roots. And as you can see, you just carefully, they're very entwined. They've been grown in the fields. Now, as you can see, that's what they look like. So, just dig a very shallow hole just enough to cover the roots and if you look on the raspberry cane there where the old soil level is that's the level you need to plant. So you plant these approximately 18 inches apart and then put the soil back over the top gently firming. Now that is all you need to do at this moment in time. As I said before there are two different types of raspberries summer fruiting and autumn fruiting. Summer fruiting canes are a lot are different to the autumn. With the summer fruit in, they fruit on one year old wood. So, during the season, when your plants are actually flowering, uh, you'll start to see little shoots coming up from underneath, which are gonna be the crop for next season. So, when your crop has actually finished uh, fruit in, what you need to do is chop down that cane completely down to ground level. All the new shoots that come up the from the ground during this season for summer fruiting, you need to tie into the canes on your support. Autumn fruiting raspberries are a lot, lot easier. When the plants are finished fruiting, normally around about October time, all you need to do is prune them right down to ground level. Then in the spring, the new shoots that appear will carry the crop that normally starts to get ready around about August, September in the same season. Now raspberries are a very, very hungry plant, so it's very vital to give them a top dressing of a slow release fertilizer. This one here is a Westland ericaceous feed, because remember, they are acid loving plants, and this gives them a lovely boost all through the season. Also top dress, which means adding a mulch throughout the season. Again, you can use the farmer manure or the soil conditioner. Now raspberries are a very, very thirsty plant, a good idea is to use these garden soap hoses. If you, it's like a hose, but the water actually just dribbles out and seeps out. Very, very good for watering. Now, the only last thing to use to make sure is pests. There's only a couple of little pests on raspberries, but the most common one is raspberry beetle. Nothing worse than biting into a raspberry and seeing a little maggot. What you need to do is use Bayer Provado Ultimate Fruit and Vegetable Killer. This is available as a ready to use spray or as a concentrate. You need to spray this approximately just as the flowers are coming out 
and that will stop the raspberry bee talk. Then the only maintenance then is just keep it well watered throughout the season and you'll enjoy your lovely crops during the summer. Thank you.